Well, the sport of lacrosse returned to its birthplace as the Oneida Indian Nation hosted the 10th NLL All-Star Game here at Turning Stone Resort and Casino. And for many of the Syracuse fans that were in attendance today, it was almost as if it was a flashback back to when Casey Powell, Cody Jamison, and Sid Smith took the field for SU just a couple miles from here on the SU campus. Um, I love coming back here. Uh, you know, it's, it's always a great time to see some familiar faces who I saw you know, at, while I was at my time there. Um, so it's just a fun time coming out, uh, coming out this way. It's great to play uh, in, the, in the homeland of lacrosse and uh, uh, in front of former Syracuse fans. And I still continue to, uh, you know, I bleed orange and uh, you know represent Syracuse as much as I can. But uh, if it wasn't, you know, if I didn't go there, I would probably, uh, I don't know where I'd be in terms of my professional career. But it helped prepare me for a, for a long career in professional lacrosse. So I'm thankful for for the opportunity to play there and uh, just uh, just having fun. Smith and Jamison took part in a halftime ceremony honoring the Iroquois national lacrosse team who were not allowed to travel to England for last summer's world championships because British immigration officials did not recognize their Native American passports. The team itself is probably one of the best teams that we had gathered, but I myself was impressed with their stability and with their understanding of the issues of sovereignty. Well, it's kind of kind of bittersweet there. It's good that we get the recognition, but at the same time, you know, we, we really wish we could have went. So, you know, it's, it's good to get the recognition. So we, we will take that. You know, we're not looking for recognition or nothing like that, but it, it is good to get recognized, and uh, you know, especially being here in, here in Oneida, and uh, you know, the fans are definitely behind us, and you know, it's uh, just something that happened in lacrosse, and hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Together, Powell and Jamison scored five goals for the East team as they marched to a 30 to 26 victory. And as for Jamison, who's only one year removed from playing for SU, he says to this year's team to just go for it as they're going for a 12th national title. Reporting from Turning Stone Resort and Casino, David de Guzman, Citrus TV.